So today, we have the Dark Knight, the world's greatest detective, Batman, taking on the man without fear, Daredevil. Two tremendously great fighters going head to head. Also, since I've done this fight before and we both, we all know who these characters are, uh, we're just going to go straight into the breakdown. So, who wins? Let's find out. So, who is stronger? Well, Bruce is strong enough to easily snap a gun in half with one hand, easily break bones and metal restraints, hold open a crocodile's mouth, which is impressive because crocodiles have the strongest bite force out of any animal today, uh, kick a motorcycle in half, bench press a thousand pounds as a warm-up, casually overpower normal people, even sending them flying, throwing people with one arm, and to fight against Bane and Killer Croc. But Matt Murdock can crack concrete with his punches, casually throw a 400 pound weight several feet, even use it as a weapon, easily break bones and metal restraints as well, kick Kingpin hard enough to dent metal, punch through bricks, and to throw his baton hard enough to break concrete. To be honest, they're pretty even here, but I'd say Bruce is ever so slightly stronger. So, who's more durable? Well, Matt has kept on fighting after direct explosions, car accidents, massive falls, and being shot and stabbed. He's withstood Pyro's and Typhoid Mary's intense flames, electricity, being beaten by baseball bats, hits from Kingpin, uh, Bruiser, uh, etc and even a napalm explosion. He's even fought through sonic attacks, which he is very weak to due to his enhanced hearing, on several occasions. Hell, he's even taken several hits from Hulk and remained conscious and kept on fighting. That's crazy, because it's the Hulk. But Bruce has walked off massive falls and, build and building busting explosions, kept on fighting after being stabbed in the neck and lungs, survived being shot in the head, withstood brutal beatings from Bane, and remained conscious after hits from Superman and Wonder Woman. Uh, his suit is also bullet and fireproof and tear resistant, which is why I'm giving him this advantage to Batman, because Daredevil's suit is not bulletproof. It just kind of helps with the beatings. Uh, but if Batman is stronger and tougher, then Daredevil is faster and more agile. Like, Batman can easily dodge bullets even at point blank range, dodge bullets while getting closer to the shooter, consistently dance through automatic gunfire like it's nothing, and take out whole groups of thugs before they could react. But Matt has effortlessly dodged point blank bullets, dodged machine gun fire from several angles, dodged a sniper rifle bullet after it had been fired, easily dodged Electro's electricity, outreacted both Spider-Man and Captain America, and once when he was pretending to be Spider-Man to prank Peter, thugs actually thought he was the real Spider-Man, uh, the most agile hero in all of Marvel. That's really saying something. So both men have their physical advantages, but what about skill? Well, just like physicality, it's insanely close. I guess Batman is technically more skilled because he knows many more martial arts styles, but it's still very close. Batman is arguably the best fighter in all of DC, uh, and, he, uh, and he's beaten every member of the Bat family, Bane, Catwoman, Deathstroke, Ra's al Ghul, Green Arrow, and he's one of very few who can beat or match Lady Shiva. He even claims to know 400 ways to take someone down without killing them, and he's pretty much fighting against superhuman enemies on a nightly basis successfully. But Daredevil is easily in the top 10, possibly top 5 best fighters in all of Marvel, and is a master of wide variety of martial art and fighting styles. He also perfectly incorporates acrobatics in his fighting style as well. Matt has beaten or matched Elektra, Kingpin, Black Widow, Iron Fist, Black Panther, Captain America, Gambit, Punisher, Deadpool, and Moon Knight. He's also single-handedly single beat 100 men, whom are all enhanced to at least peak human levels, possibly low superhuman levels, and he did it without his suit and baton. It's also worth mentioning that Daredevil is like the king of nerve strikes in Marvel. He's knocked out Luke Cage before using nerve strikes, and he's even temporarily stunned Hawk with his nerve strikes. Hawk. That's insane. But Batman 
so while Batman might be overall more skilled, Daredevil is more than skilled enough to put up a great fight here. But Batman has his uh, more has more versatility. Uh, Darede Daredevil does have his batons that he's very skilled with, using and he's even skilled at ricocheting off walls to hit foes from behind or the side. Uh, something Batman uh, has never fought against either, not really. Uh, but Batman does have his traditional gadgets and is very skilled in using them each while in combat. But although he has carried sonic weapons before, it's not he doesn't typically carry them. It's like he's not part of his traditional gadget gadgetry that he carries. Uh, and with this being a random encounter, he won't have any sonic uh, weapons on him. And even if he did, Daredevil could probably just fight through it as he's done that several times over the years. Um, then there is Matt's radar sense and enhanced senses. He's going to know exactly where Batman is at all times. So, who wins? Uh, Batman is slightly stronger, tougher, technically more skilled, and more versatile, while Matt is slightly faster, more agile, and has his radar and enhanced senses. And where one of these guys has an advantage, it's only a slight advantage over the other. I'd say Daredevil would win his fair share and would even win in their first fight because of his radar sense and the fact Batman doesn't carry sonic weapons. But overall, I'd say Batman uh, win is winning the majority due to his preparation for the next fights after the first one. Batman wins after an insanely close fight. And wins just a slight majority over Daredevil. I mean very slight. 6 out of 10 with the 6th match being extremely close. Batman wins. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment of what you think. And please hit the notification bell if you did enjoy. And all that great stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.